Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Angel and Spirit Guide message reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. Now before I dive into this reading, I want to say that this reading is coming from a place of love, light, and positivity in order to raise you up and raise up your energy vibration instead of bringing you low and lowering your energy vibration because Lord knows that there is more than enough out there in this world right now to make us feel scared, insignificant, small, and terrified. These readings are to raise us up, to make us feel powerful, to give us centering and purpose, and yeah, and to connect us with our higher selves. Okay, so with that said, Gemini, let's dive in. I'm going to be starting with your Spirit Guide Animal Cards. These are also going to be your totem animals for this time. So let's see what they have to say. Oh, and if you see these animals in the wild or you see an image of these animals, this is your angels and your spirit guides, Gemini, tapping you on the shoulder saying, remember this message, angel and spirit guide message for Gemini, angel and spirit guide message for Gemini. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Oh, goodness. Okay. So you have the bee spirit and you have the antelope spirit shining through. So it says sweet results await and life is speeding up. So sweet results await for you as life is speeding up. So you might be getting caught in a bit of the chaos right now, but sweet things, sweet things do lie ahead. And then we're going to be using your chakra cards. So let's see here, angel and spirit guide message for, for Gemini, angel and spirit guide message for Gemini. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Gemini. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Gemini. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. So we have holistic health and we have meditation. So meditation is a way to add to your holistic health, but there's also a sense here of needing to turn inward and needing to quiet Quiet yourself, yeah, as you move forward, as you are kind of entering into a grounding here. Angel and spirit guide message for Gemini. Angel and spirit guide message for Gemini. Angel and spirit guide message for Gemini. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly. So, oh goodness, at the heart of everything, we have the High Priestess, which I love. That's my favorite card in every deck. Deck, And then here we have the Ace of Wands. Your angels are definitely handing you a gift of creativity. Then we have the King of Swords. You're shining through here as a king, which is lovely. You're represented by the Swords in the Minor Arcana. Gemini, you're represented by the Lovers in the Major Arcana. Then we have the Knave of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Then we have the world. Oh, that's lovely. Opening up at your roots. We have the king of chalices. So this is a water sign energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. And then we have the wheel. I love that. Seasons change. The knight of chalices. I love how you go from being a knight to being a king. That is very powerful. We have the three of pentacles. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful imagery. And we have the hanged man. Oh, wow. This is really cool. This is lovely. Okay. So let's start off with the bee spirit. It says sweet results await. And then we have the antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. So sweet results await as life is speeding up. You are speeding towards your sweet results, but also the sweetness that you are getting within life. And you might sit there and say, Dane, you know, things are hard, things are weird, things are unlike I've ever seen them before. But there's going to be a sweetness here. There is. There's, there's a power to you. And there's a strong connection with divinity. And there's a strong connection with the essence of what you are taking in. And this really does speed you up. You are more bound, 
now to your angels than you have ever been before. And that is going to be something that you really utilize. Because remember, bees also represent paradise. So there is a sense of bees representing paradise. There is a sense here of bees being astoundingly loyal to their queen. And you have the high priestess right here. So you're being astoundingly loyal to your inner sacred wisdom and truth. You're not going to be as easily provoked okay, into things as you might have been. People might want to be trying to kind of get your goat, get a rise out of you. Gemini, they're not going to be able to do that easily if you stick on this path of higher truth and of greater wisdom to yourself. And then life speeds up. Life starts moving forward in a way that you hadn't anticipated and in a way, quite frankly, that couldn't have been anticipated. Holistic health is going to be very important to you. And you have the repeat of the number seven here. So here, within your kind of spirit messages, seven is saying keep things on the up and up. Seven is a number of truth. Seven is a number of deeper wisdom. It's a number of spiritual wisdom, but it's also a number that says keep things on the up and up. You will not be able to abide liars and cheats during this time. And just make sure that, you know, white lights are fine, right? But just make sure you don't try to kind of do anything sneaky during this time because it won't end well. All right, we have holistic health, which is at your root chakra. Holistic health is going to be at the root of you. You're going to find alternative medicines to be very attractive. This isn't saying that you shouldn't and you absolutely should uphold you know, traditional medicine, but this is also saying here that you're going to find great comfort in holistic health, in Yoga is going to be something that is very beneficial for you or any sort of exercise of the body where you can clear your mind. There is also a sense here of being very drawn to the earth and herbs and there is a sense of having great power around you, right? You're going to see that your health is giving you wings, but you're also going to see great alleviation from ailments or illnesses or things like that just through holistic health, a holistic approach, a natural approach to things. And then we have here meditation. And meditation is highly important to center ourselves. It doesn't have to mean that you sit on a mat and meditate quietly. It can very well mean that, you know, you do yard work, you sing a song in your head and you let time fly by. But meditation, a grounding of yourself, a centering of yourself is going to be very important. Your root chakra and your crown chakra are really coming together. Your root chakra bounds, like not bounds you, but has you in alignment. Your crown chakra has you looking at new thoughts, new ideas, new understandings of things. And this is where the high priestess comes in. The high priestess is very interested in sacred truths. You're going to be very drawn towards sacred truths during this time. And there is an insatiable curiosity to you to begin with, Gemini, that is going to be kind of exacerbated, not in a bad way, not exacerbated, but that's really going to come out during this time. And you're going to find yourself having the veil lifted from your eyes, seeing things more clearly, and it's going to be seeing things more clearly, mainly about yourself, not very much. Well, it can be about other people. You might see glimpses of other people more clearly, but you're really going to be looking inward at you and seeing you in a much more just and much more powerful light because you've downplayed yourself, Gemini, and now you are going to be looking at things much more powerfully, much more purposefully. And there is also a sense here of having the dark and the light combined within you. And that can be very well while you're seeing things more clearly is because you're not trying to kind of sugarcoat life anymore. You're sitting there and saying, this is my truth. This is my power. This is where I stand. And it's, it's knowing that there is great force within you, great force, great dedication. And that is really quite beautiful. You are also going to be drawn to the quieter times. So you will find that you find yourself turning inward, looking deeper, especially at night. That's going to be a time really spent. If you could spend that time on rumination, meditation, you know, connecting with your soul and yourself, a little bit of journaling. If you like journaling or talking to your angels, that would be highly beneficial because I just see here as you turn inward, as you're taking in this wisdom, as you're being graced by this power, you have the three of pentacles coming into play. And the three of pentacles, what I love here, is this road for this angel. And that's what you're laying down. You're laying 
down a road for your angelic self, but also for the angels that guide you, your guardian angels. And their music, their message is very much going to sing to you. And you might even be called at this time to pick up the message, to pick up the call and be moving yourself forward to something greater, something beautiful. And I love the progression here from two to three. It's like you are stepping into a world of deep knowledge, of deep understanding, and the way it manifests itself on this earthly plane rather kind of easily is through the prosperity of your being, through the connection of yourself, and through your desire for more and to lead yourself forward towards more, both spiritually and purposefully, because pentacles are, of course, talking about this earthly plane and what we need to create and cultivate within ourselves as we move forward. But they are also here set in water. So this is our spiritual tr self treaded on by angels, which is definitely our spiritual self coming forward. You're going to see a level of craftsmanship to yourself that astounds you, a level of focusing on tasks, seeing things more clearly. And that really leads you to the Ace of Wands. Now, I don't have you quite taking, do I have you? No, I don't have you quite taking this gift yet, yet it permeates every single corner of your mind and aspect of your being. The Ace of, of Wands here is the angels handing this gift to this maiden. And so here, the angels are handing you a gift of passion, of creativity, of coming together, of instinctual intellect coming forward, of knowing your mind through the power of knowing your soul and yourself. And as it does so, and as you move forward in this knowledge and understanding, the Knight of Chalices comes forward. Your heart is going to be one of your greatest guides when it comes to your passion, when it comes to what you want to create and cultivate within yourself, within your life, within you. And as you are looking at this, and it can very well be that a water sign energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, helps you take this gift from from your angels, helps you take this gift of passion, of creativity, of power, of really coming into your own when it comes to what you want on this earthly plane and what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're willing to do in order to get it. You're kind of having things really be laid out for you rather bluntly at times, but also purposefully. It's kind of like, where is it that you want to be? How is it that you want to move forward? What is it that you desire? As you hold your heart's desire in your hand, as you, you take this gift from your angels, but you move forward in your passion, your creativity, your cultivation of your emotional self. And this moves us to the world literally being at your feet right here, because we have the world right here, and the world is at your feet. The world is opening up to you in a way that you hadn't realized. And it really does come from your heart because we have Venus here and we have the water here. And so it really does come from your heart, from your emotions, from your passion, from what you desire. And you're going to see things that once seemed insurmountable, that once seemed, you know, I can't. You, you just thought, I can't, or this is not where my strength lies, or this is not where I'm supposed to be. And you're really going to change that narrative within your head to, oh yeah, I can. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. This is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And even if it is challenging, you might sit there and really say to yourself, Gemini, I'm not doing this forever. I am definitely having an expiration date on this, but this is where I am. This is what I'm doing well. And this is what I'm doing with absolute determination of soul and of self to move me forward and to have me grasp my higher power and my greatest truth. And as you do so, you are seeing everything differently at your roots. I love that you have, you know, two major arcana cards at your roots because it's like, oh yeah, now it's time to play. It's like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here and I'm not going to dance to the beat of everybody else's drum. I'm not going to see things like everybody else sees them. And that's fine with me. That is, you're going to feel a bit uncomfortable. I mean, this does not look like the most comfortable positions with the hanged men, but there is this sense here of this powerful, passionate truth leading you forward. And yes, it is uncomfortable to walk the path that you will walk because it is the path of your truth. And when you start living your life with meaning, purpose, and truth, you will find that the insignificant things start to fall away. And that becomes hard because that could be most of us, you know, most of the time. It's like most of what, 
you you want to be doing or filling your time with can can be trite at the end, you know, and you don't really want to admit that to yourself, but it's kind of like, okay, what did I accomplish? What did I do? How did I achieve? How am I moving forward? And you're really going to see yourself kind of laying that all out much more prominently for you. It's like, how do I have the doors open? How do I embrace what my soul wants? How do I step into my power? And it really does come from embracing of your emotional truth. Now, with the King of Cups, and again, I love how you started off as a knight, and you have this defending of your emotional self, and then you have here, in the end of this line, you have yourself becoming a king. But it's also your emotions going from, oh, I have to defend this emotion, I have to sit there and justify myself for feeling this way or being this way, and then there comes a point, Gemini, where you're like, screw it, you know, absolutely not, I'm not going to justify myself, I'm not going to sit there and redefine myself for anybody else. I'm going to move forward in my passion, in my power, in my purpose. I know what I want. And even if you're sitting there and saying, but Dane, I don't know what I want. You know, you have an idea. You have, a, well, at least you know what you don't want. It's kind of like, I'm never going to walk down that road again. I'm never going to be doing that again. And that's a really good place to start because I do believe, and a lot of times it is so very true. We don't know who we are right off the bat. So at least a lot of us don't but we know what we don't want to be or where we don't want to go or who we don't want to emulate. And that is, that's powerful knowledge right there. And so here with being a king of your heart, being a king of the waters that run inside of your body, which, you know, stem from your heart, right? Your blood stems from your heart. You are going to see yourself embracing your powerful, passionate, purposeful you. You're going to see yourself looking at things with more of a determination, with more of an understanding. And as you do so, you become a page of your prosperity. You look at you know these gifts that divinity is giving you, your angels, your spirit guides, and you look at where it is that you want to be, how it is that you want to move forward. And you're going to sit there and say, okay, I'm opening up to new possibilities, to new ideas, to new desires, and I will not be held back. I won't. And there's also a sense here of, you know, of course, Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming into play. And this is very important because what you are planting, what you are becoming is guiding you forward to something more. And you have to come at it. You're, you're needing to come at it with a childlike innocence, with an innocence of approach, because there is so much seriousness to you. I mean, the high priestess is not a child. The high priestess very much understands what most people will never utter out loud. Kings are not like children. And if they are like children, they don't they don't reign for long because there is this seriousness to them. The world, the world doesn't play by the rules of progression like we do, but the world opens up and to really embark on the gifts and really utilize them to your fullest. It's not being naive about them. It's being very serious. And the fact that you are changing your mind towards deeper spiritual meanings, towards a deeper sense of self and of power, you see yourself moving forward. And as you do so, you look at wonder with what you're able to plant and cultivate, the seeds that you are able to plant within yourself, within your intentions, within other people, and you're going to see this prosperity start to take root, guided by your angels, because you can also see here and look at it as if your angels are laying down a pathway for you, as the music of the soul, as the emotions of the self are led forward, and then you never see the world the same way again. And this is, again, played out right here with the Wheel of Fortune. Everything is changing. Everything is changing. And yes, highs have lows and lows have highs, but you are going to be seeing yourself changing, cultivating, and moving towards something more. At times, you will feel like you're on a roller coaster ride, and you're going to want to get off. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, what I found is that there are times where you want to get off. It's like enough is enough. I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. You know, and if you put one more thing on me, I'll scream. And then the one more thing comes and you scream and you still have to keep on moving on. So with the Wheel of Fortune, it is knowing that fortune's wheel always changes. The tides will always turn. And for you, there is a sense of power in this, Gemini, because you embrace what Plato says very much. All is flux and nothing stays the same. That's one of my favorite quotes. And as a Gemini, that is something, and I myself am a Gemini, so that could be why it's one of my favorite quotes. It's something that you live by. It's like life will always be changing. Will I be ready 
for the battle ahead? Or will I be able to withstand in my passion, in my purpose, in my understanding towards what it is that I wish to cultivate and what it is that I wish to have in my world and in my here and in my now? And as a king, people are seeing you having power. People are seeing a change within you that is moving you forward. You cut through doubts and fears. You know where it is that you want to stand. You embrace deeper mysteries that you might not comprehend, but you're very drawn to. You're very drawn to this deeper sense of self, this deeper connection to this co to the cosmos, or just realizing that everything is fleeting and life can be short. So drink of the waters of your passion, of your prosperity, of blessings now. Because you're going to see that as the world changes, as you again see these deeper, deeper mysteries, because this is at the heart of you, deeper mysteries, deeper purposes, being guided by your angels, being guided by your spirit guides, you see passion, prosperity, bounty. You see what you can plant and cultivate on this earthly realm come together and it leads you to never being the same. It has you moving forward, defending and honoring your heart's truth. Because that is the one truth to live and to, to stand upon, you know, kind of stand your ground upon. And then your angels guide you. Your angels move you forward. And you move more readily towards something spectacular than you could have imagined. And it's because you're following the, the music within. You're following the passion within, the guidance within, your subconscious message. is the five of wands. There is something within you, Gemini, that you need to confront. There's a chaos, a doubt, a fear. But it is something that can be over, overcome relatively easily. It won't be easy in when you're going through it, but in the long run of things, it will be relatively easily conquered. But this is also a number of freedom. And so here, as you're cultivating, moving, and seeking, you find yourself moving towards a greater sense of, of freedom and a greater sense of self than you had before. And this then moves you to your subconscious chakra message, which is dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. You will have, you know, what is it called? It's waking dreams or, oh, I forget what it's called. But when you're able to communicate and messages are passed to yourself in your dreams, utilize that. Utilize that, Gemini. And also understand that your dreams are going to be a tremendous form of power for you. Even if you don't remember your dreams, your dreams are going to be very powerful and very much a way that your subconscious sculpts your universe. <coughs> Excuse me. And then your subconscious message is the dear spirit, spirit, bring a gentle touch. During this time, Gemini, bring a gentle touch because a gentle touch, a kind heart, and firm resolve within yourself will move you far. It's kind of like be gentle, but be strong. Be gentle and be firm. Be gentle and be unstoppable. Because it's not through brute force that you will forge your world. It can be, but you won't have the world that you want. It is through a gentle compassion, but also a, you know, unyielding determination that you move forward. And it is beautiful. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. Stay safe, and I love you all. Bye.